Oh, it's going downs today. Oh Lord, huh? here we go. Churchill Downs. <laughs> I see you brought the girls out today. Uh huh. Very nice of them to come out to Churchill Downs today. <laughs> Get a little sunshine. <laughs> now we got the we got the museum, and we got like a track tour. Yeah. About a half hour track tour. Yeah. I have no idea what we're gonna see. I'm sure we're gonna see the track. <laughs> yeah. Hence the name track tour. There's gonna be lots of famous horses displayed here. I hope they're not displayed. Well, the horse, not the horses themselves, <laughs> but photos and oh, okay. awards. And I was like, man. <laughs> Trophies a, and everything. It's a little morbid having no. the old horses displayed. <laughs> Not the actual horse. <laughs> you got your wish. There's a horse on display right here. Well, kind of on display. We just got to talk. We haven't even gone inside yet. And there's like, oh man, this is the cool statue, but it's not just a statue. It's uh, the final resting place of this racehorse. Yeah. Right out front of Churchill Downs, which is crazy. It is Probably crazy. a famous racehorse. I don't know. We won in 2006. He's the Derby winner. Oh, okay. But he was not a very old horse. So I'm interested in learning the history of this horse and why he died so young. Barbaro. Yeah. But he's here. That's why it's so massive. You lay a horse down, it takes up a lot of space. Yeah, I guess. But that is crazy. Yeah, I just thought it was a statue. I had no idea that the yeah. horse was actually in there. Now I'm really intrigued. Okay. <laughs> grandstands are massive. Supposedly the largest grandstands in North America. And told us that the grandstands used to be on that side. But the sun was in everybody's eyes during the race and it was downwind of the stables. So you go home with that uh, not so fresh feeling. So they demolished all the grandstands on that side and built them over here. This is pretty cool. The entrance to the museum is the starting stall for the horses that they open up on race day. All right, we're gonna place our bets. These are the betting windows right here. So we're gonna place our bets. There's gonna be a race, two minutes and 30 seconds. So, and it shows you all the odds. Yes, I need more time. It shows you all the odds, and then you can pick who you think is gonna win, and then we'll we'll see who does this better. There you go. Les has got her ticket. The bets are placed. All right, who'd you go with? To win. To win. Okay. So to win, I picked She's a Tease. Oh, I got Off She Goes. Okay. To place, I did Off She Goes. Ooh, and I have She's a Tease for second. Oh. And for show, why not take a chance? Oh, I got August Rush. <laughs> so we'll see how we do. This is interesting. It'll be fun. Oh, I got Off She Goes for the win. Come on, get up, get there. <laughs> get there. There's my four horse. 4, 14, and 11. Where am I? They're not, they're not going to be on there at all. Uh-oh. Come on there, off she goes. Oh, they're off she goes in the wrong direction. Uh-oh. Off she goes, flip the third. Oh, I don't have anybody on there. No, what happened? Oh my goodness, that was a slip. Oh man. Wow. Two, three, nine. I had none of those. No. Mm. Dang. And if you don't get anything else out of the tour, at least you can teach the children how to gamble. Well, we got some of the fancy clothes on display. This was worn by Cindy Lauper to the Derby. With the big hat, of course. Get ready to race. Oh, which, which one did I get? Stalker. Stalker. <laughs> All right. Get ready. Speed up. All right. So you move right and move left. Which or color you are you? Whip it. I'm green. Right. Drop it. Whip it. Come on. Come on. Go away. Come on. Put him in the wall. I'm the red. The red one. Oh man! Oh, come on! Come on! Get up there! Come on, stalker! I'm red. I'm red. Get it! Whip <laughs> it! Whip it! Come on! Come on! Whip it! Running away with it! Well, that's because he's jumping up and patting well, his butt. See, I can't. <laughs> 
Here are some of the most elaborate hats that were worn at the Kentucky Derby. That's like a helmet, more really. And then you had the big rose hat over here that she wore there. Holy crap, man. That's crazy. If you ever want to know where we got the term horse pill, that's it right there. I'm going to put my hand up there for a frame of reference. That's how big those pills are. That's a horse pill. I was a rookie Good. jockey in the Kentucky Derby today. <laughs> I think she's got a good shot. There's only been nine women jockeys in the Kentucky Derby to date. Have any of them won? I don't believe so. I don't think so either. But if anybody could do it, if anybody could whip a horse into submission to win, it'll definitely be Leslie. I believe I could do that. Just win. What are you, stupid? God. She'll just whisper insults in his ear. If you don't win, I'm putting you down. Oh, he's going to be glue. I would run faster if I was him. I think it's going to work. It's a solid tactic. It is a good tactic. Yeah. Leslie found somebody that she's taller than. Look at that. Larger than life. I'm going to look a giant. Yeah? Yeah. Man. He was not even five foot tall. But I'm only five two, so I'm not that way so I'm going to feel. See, I told you she could have been a jockey. You shrink me a little more. Man. Alright, let me let me test. Let me stand there. Let me see. He's an armrest. It's a cute little fella. <laughs> well, for not being horse racing fans or Kentucky Derby fans, it's a pretty interesting museum. It's very interesting. I learned a lot. I learned way more than I thought I was going to learn. Yeah. You have a greater appreciation for the sport, I guess, more. But what blows me away more than anything else is yeah. hundreds of thousands of people come here every year spend all day spend so much money to come here for one tickets day a year. food not even a day yeah. we're talking well, about minutes. just over two the race minutes itself is minutes yeah i mean that's crazy for a two minute event you're paying all that yes and you're going through all of that yes oh man i don't think i could do it <laughs> it was cool to see the history of it it was cool to see all the trophies yeah from past kentucky derby winners the triple crown trophy crown. is there which yeah. is really really cool um there was a whole section dedicated to the Secretariat. Yes, because it's the 50th anniversary. It is, so. and the track record holder for all three tracks for the Triple still Crown holds. still yeah. holds from the 70s. And uh, our tour guide told us that, what, nine of the horses that raced in this last Kentucky Derby are still descendants of Secretariat. Yes, so his bloodline still runs. They bred the hell out of that horse. Well, they studded him out. I think 600. 600 offspring of Secretariat. Yeah. So, That's a lot of kids. <laughs> well, so they wanted to make sure that, that bloodline didn't die. Yeah. But since then, since Secretariat won, um, uh, lots of his descendants have actually won the Kentucky Derby, mm -hmm. too. And yeah. placed and shown, and of course. Yeah. You know, but it's really cool. It is very interesting. I'm glad we came. Like they do have like a replica of the winner's circle that you can stand in and take your picture with one of the previous winners. Yeah. And then we did learn more about the uh, the horse that's buried out front. Yeah. He was a Kentucky Derby winner and broke his leg. Sad. So, and then he got an infection and had well, to be Well, you put had down. successful surgeries fixing all the fractures and everything, but that leaves them wide open to bad infections later yeah which happened well we just wrapped up the very first ever <laughs> wagster meetup yeah. in louisville kentucky which was a blast it was a blast had so much fun yeah last night was great we had a potluck so we did some chicken and some steaks Steak. and everybody brought a couple of things and yeah. leslie cooked uh, her famous <laughs> jello shots so everybody had a few jello shots yeah get it Sat around and talked and had live music. Jerry and Ricky got the guitars out, <laughs> sang a little bit, yeah. hung out. And, oh, yeah, you made a salad too. I did make a salad too. Yeah.
There are two things that I make very well. It's a salad and jello shots. Yes. And that's how I cook. I, <laughs> I forgot to mention, uh, we hadn't mentioned it the whole time we were at in Louisville for the Wagstrom meetup. We had uh, we had four channels. Oh with yeah. Us Techn yeah. At the Wagstrom meetup. Uh-huh. So we wanted to mention them. Of course, you know Jerry and Teresa, they've mm -hmm. been with us the whole caravan. But Ricky and Barbara from RV Underway were there. And Jim and Rhonda from R&J RV Adventures was there. Yeah. And we had Chad yeah. from Morty's Adventures. Yeah. So that was really cool to have, mm -hmm. have all those channels there. We'll leave a link to all those channels down in the description of this video so you can go check out those channels if you want to. But um, yeah, I'm sad that it's over. Mm -hmm. uh, we were supposed to be there for a couple more days, but we yeah. got cut short. Cause... All good things must come to an end. Yeah, so now we are in Athens, Alabama? Yes. We're in the middle of nowhere. nowhere we're halfway there. back to where Lauren is. So yeah. today was just travel day. We didn't even unhook. Nope, still hooked up. That's why we're on a slant. We are a little I don't know if you can see that, but we're on a little bit of a slant. It's, it's like a treadmill. It's slanted, so I, the higher you go in the rig, the more you have to like lean into it. Yeah, we hit a little bit of weather today, but it wasn't it wasn't, it wasn't bad. We've had worse. Yeah. yeah. Let me take you outside and show you around our awesome accommodations with three rigs. <laughs> I don't have my sunglasses. They're in the truck, so I'm a little squinty. But look at this. They are jammed into here. Yeah, that right there, that one shot. That's the only three RVs in the whole park. Which is really nice and i was concerned because it looked like on the map that we were really close to i-65 but actually i-65 is a little ways off there so we're not going to have a lot of road noise it should be pretty pretty quiet overnight here for us um it's the middle of nowhere wide open spot so no shade no shade at all but we got no neighbors on either side of us obviously and these are they're gravel pull throughs um they look pretty flat on camera probably but they are they are a little bit elevated they're like they're elevated a little bit that way so not only is our truck elevated a little bit because it's on the hitch it's actually it's going uphill too so we do have a little bit of an incline inside but it'll just be easier for us tomorrow morning if we just stay hooked up so a little bit of a slant we might roll a little bit but uh the way that we sleep on on each side of the bed it works out good because if anybody does roll, then Leslie will just roll onto me. And I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. It was a long travel day for Scout too, so he gets some worms to snack on. He's already eyeballing the container. Oh, look, look. Oh, oh look. <laughs> He's like, yeah, please. Uh-huh. We get asked a lot what Scout eats, and here it is. This is, this is the super worms. That's mostly what he eats. Yeah. Besides his salad. Yeah, salad, vegetables every once in a while. But that, he loves these. Yummy. <laughs> Those are my faves. Yeah. Oh, look. <laughs> Just keep them coming, yeah. man. <laughs> hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.